The Gemara in Megillah tells us that on Shabbat Cholamoid, both of Pesach and of Sukkot, we read the Parsha of the Moadim from Parsha Kitisa. This is surprising because it's a small, relatively small discussion of the Moadim there. Why would we not read one of the lengthier pieces about the Moadim that we find in Parsha de Emor, or in Parsha Pinchas, where we discuss the, the uh, Karban Musaf, although we read that on Shabbat Cholamoid too? I think the answer is that what we find in these parshiot is a very basic part of what the goal of a moed should be in general, and I think what we should be reflecting on, on the Shabbat of a moed in particular. If we look, of course, at the piece that we read on the Shabbat of Chol Moed, we see that it's about Moshe's petitioning to Hashem after the ego on behalf of the Jewish people. If you look carefully, we read this also on Atan Tzibur. But in Etan and Tzibur, we read from the beginning of the piece, from Moshe's first petitioning to Hashem to forgive the Jewish people, till the end of the petitioning. On Shabbat Cholom though, we begin at a later section. We begin once Hashem has agreed not to destroy the Jewish people, when Moshe is trying to rebuild the relationship. And we read through the new Brit that takes place after the second Luchot, where the Parsha of the Moedim is repeated. Why? What? aspect or aspects here are central for Shabbat Cholomoed. I would like to identify two points that I think are important and related. The first is that if you look in the end of this section in Parshat Ki Tisa, Moshe asks to be able to see, understand, get a better understanding and vision of God's presence. He communicates with God, Panim El Panim, and he wants to be able to see on some level, see and understand. This is a major part of what Moadim are about. We know that the Shalosh Regalim are Shalosh Pamim Bashana Yeira'e Kol Zechurcha. The Gemara in Chagiga tells us to be Chayiv and Aliyah the Regal, you have to have two working eyes because it's a time when we're seen by Hashem and we see Hashem. There's this mutual coming together. Lashon of the Gemara, Kederech Sheba Lirot, Kach Ba Leiraot. The Torah Tamima makes the point that if you look in the different places where the mitzvah is described, Sometimes it says, Yei El Pnei HaAdon Hashem, but other times it says, Yei Et Pnei HaAdon Hashem. We're being seen and we see. The significance of this coming together is that a moed is when we connect, we're meant to connect with God. And that's, of course, why the morale explains. The Mishnah Avot tells us that a person who is mevaza the moadim, kilo oved avodah zara, because he's violating and cheapening his relationship with Hashem. And, of course, if a moed is about connecting to Hashem, and Shabbat is that special moment, Shabbat Kol Moed is the combination of both those factors. But I think there's an additional one. An additional point that's significant, that's highlighted by the Haftorah. If you look in the piece here, it describes Moshe asking not only to see Hashem, but to understand Hashem, to know Hashem, to understand Hashem's ways. This element is highlighted by the Haftorah of Shabbat Kol Moed Pesach, and Shabbat Cholom Oed Sukkot. On Sukkot, of course, we read from Yeshayahu, and on Pesach, we read from Yechezkel HaNavi. Both these have Torahs, it's shocking how similar they are, focused on the goal of Yediat Hashem, of the people of the world coming to know and understand God. The difference, though, is that on Sukkot, Yeshayahu, the Haftor we read, is about the nations of the world coming to know God. On Pesach, Yechezkel, the dry bones, talks about how the Jewish people will come to know God. And this, of course, is the difference between Pesach and Sukkot. Sukkot, the universalistic holiday. Pesach, one that's only about Am Yisrael. It's about our knowing, not just the world on whatever level they know. So what the Kriya is highlighting is how Shabbat Cholomoid should be the climax of us seeing and being seen by God, but something that also is rooted in knowledge and understanding of our relationship with God. Because... A belief that's rooted in understanding of God is going to be much more meaningful, as will the relationship. And this is, of course, why we read Shir Hashirim on Shabbat Cholom Oed. Shir Hashirim is about that relationship, about a love relationship that can only be based on the knowledge of HaKadosh Baruch Hu we strive and reach for ourselves. People want to have a relationship with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. They want to have spirituality. But relationship hinge, relationships hinge on understanding, on the familiarity that comes from understanding. So the goal we need to set for ourselves after going out on the Lel HaSeder is that our newfound freedom should express itself in our deepening our understanding of the Kaddish Baruch Hu, 
through his Torah, through his world, through his creations, including ourselves, so that we can come to a level of a relationship that's meaningful and appropriate for Shabbat Chalamoed Pesach. Shabbat Shalom.